Right, with this we're going to look at, uh, as we said, block work because um, we're now into surface area and block work. But while we're here we might as well um, just refresh our memories and keep everything uh, sort of doing in, in what we have been learning so far. And so we will start off just quickly by doing the brickwork on here. So again if we remember right early on in the first lessons the first thing we're going to do is again just find the total surface area. So again the length times the height and uh, the length we're looking at here again as we always say convert into meters so that's going to be seven and a half meters length and where we have uh, two four hundred uh, that is going to be two point four meters so to get the total surface area we need to first of all go 7.5 multiplied by 2.4 equals. So we have 18 square meters, meters squared, underlined, as we always say. We can see here we've got an adjustment, so we're just going to write the adjustment. We only have one adjustment, so there's not really any need to as we did before, mark these into area A and area B etc because again there is just the one. So the adjustment here is 2.1 because again you've got uh, 2100 millimeters which again you can see is 2100 which in turn is 2 meters 100 so 2.1 multiplied by and that's just under a meter there, 0.9 equals. So we can see the area of our doorway is going to be 2.1 multiplied by 0.9. And again just notice how the uh, 0.9 looks on the calculator. Equals and we have 1.89 meters squared. So this is the total that we had. So all we need to do is have 18 meters squared um, sorry, minus our 1.89 and that will give us our total area uh, with a deduction of the door. So we have 18 minus 1.89 equals. So the total physical surface area that we have that we need bricks and blocks for is 16.11 meters squared. With this being a cavity wall, um, I would say it's highly likely that it would be in stretcher bond. So I'm just going to write in here that this is going to be stretcher bond. Okay, so with that, we know that with stretcher bond, we're going to be looking at 60 bricks per square meter. And again, if you are watching this video for the first time, if you go back to the early ones, um, which would be calculations lessons 1, 2, and 3, uh, we go through all of this in a slightly more detail. Obviously um, at this stage we have uh, done that so uh, we can uh, quicken up what we're doing. So we've got 60 bricks on there. So what we're going to have is 16.11 multiplied by 60 and that's going to give us 966 bricks for that. Right, to work out the block work, what we now need to do is just determine, if you remember from the last video, which block we're going to use. Now, uh, the ones that I tend to use, we're going to say that we're going to be using a traditional mortar on here, not a thin joint, so we're going to be going for one of these ones, because if I just um, highlight that these ones are normally laid in mortar and these two the large format and the jumbo plus they are specifically for thin joint block work so again they have a three mil joint with the uh, special adhesive and these will have mortar uh, just the same as what brickwork does so out of these uh, I am going to choose that we use a standard plus simply because they're a bigger block and they tend to go down a lot quicker than standard one so we can see here we're now looking at seven blocks per square meter so back to our 
16.11 times 7 because of um, that block. And just a reminder, that's what we're looking at there. Okay, so we're going to have, get rid of that from last time, 16.11 multiplied by 7 gives us 100 and I'm going to say 13 blocks. Okay.